starting level one, my is already a powerhouse. Zeratul, not that strong until at least level ten, usually sixteen. Zeratul is like once you get to sixteen, I'd rather have a Zeratul than a Maev. But from level one to fifteen, Maev is way better, and that's the majority of the game. So overall, I'd say Maev is better. Prepare yourselves for battle, heroes. Are you ready to shed some blood? Never doubt my skill. The battle begins in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Do they have a better comp? Depends. Depends how good my Madiv is with the protects, we'll see. Falls that got hella chunk too, so it's okay. We need, we need like one ranged hero top though. <laughs> we have three ranged. XUL in 2019. Uh, the protects have been good so far. I think we'll be okay with this comp. Zul in 2019? Yo, not just Zul in 2019. Zul tank in 2019, baby. I told him how to protect. I told him don't protect unless I'm getting CC'd. So, oh shit, I'm missing some soak. Wanted the globe. So as long as he keeps doing that, we should be fine. Still kind of a struggle though, because the, they still have a lot of damage. It would be a little bit better if our healer was something stronger than a Rhaegar, because the Rhaegar can't top me off. So we're gonna be a little bit behind for now. It would be better at 10, but um, this early is kind of annoying. If that, For example, if that Rhaegar was an Ana, I would just always be at full HP right now, right? Like he literally can't heal me enough right now, so that's the annoying part, but as long as I don't die, it's fine. Probably dead though, damn. Didn't see the false death, that's my bad. Did we get a kill? We ought to kill somewhere else, two to two, could be worse. They need to catch this soak, Ah, uh, please catch the soak, 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 soak. Okay, we lost, cool. There goes the hero and a half worth of XP. Wanna know what the difference is between a diamond? Right there. He just lost us a kill and a half. Right there, for no reason. What's the difference? Why didn't he get the wave and a half? That's literally a kill and a half. Maybe two kills. It's not two kills. Kill and a half. Instead, he chose to go to this camp that was 90% done. So now, the choice he made was, instead of getting a kill and a half for free, we get this camp one second faster. Why is that valuable? It's not. But that's the choice he made, and that is the difference. He traded a kill and a half for one second on that camp, which literally made no difference at all. If anything, it was even worse, because the person that gets the night camp out first loses. Because the person that gets it out first, the night camp will travel farther, right? And the farther it travels, like the art, since it clashes right there, it's closer to their towers, it's easier for them to clear because it's right next to their towers. If the, if the night camp met right here, it would be way easier for us to clear because it's closer to our towers. So really, he just like did us a disservice by doing that camp one second faster. And he also didn't catch the soak. Which admittedly, 
you know, I died, that's why he needed to catch it, but still, it happened, right? So he still needs to catch it. And he didn't. And that is one of the many, many differences. It's basically decisions like that repeated across the game nonstop over and over. Those are the differences. Or, or, this is how you kill minions, by the way. Mm, since I'm like our best double soaker, I'm kind of just double soaking. It could have also been Junkrat double soaking, but since he's not doing it, someone has to double soak, right? So I'm just double soaking now. Generally with Zul, Zul tank is a little bit weird, but you know, let's say you're picking Zul and you already have a tank on your team. You just this is this is literally what you do, man. Objective top, you double soak mid bot. <laughs> uh, no objective, you double soak mid bot. You know, you just you see minion wave, you kill minion wave. It's, it's literally all there is to this hero. And occasionally, if you see like a really good fight, you can go fight. Other than that, see minion wave, kill minion wave. The minion wave right here. We gotta pop this minion wave right out. All right, on to the next one. Objective mid. All right, let me see. Your choice, I guess. Soak whichever lane, two lanes you think has more soak in it. Are they just like coring? Hmm. Bonka. This Mouthdale is clearing faster than I am, and it's kind of annoying me. I don't like it, so I'm just gonna freaking kill him so he stops doing it. Right. Like I said, right, so sometimes if you see like a really easy kill or something then you go you go press root on them, kill them, and then you go back to soaking. Alright, easy kill done. Alright, easy kill done. No more easy kill. Back to soaking. Just rooting this guy to scare him off. I'm alone. Oh what the f okay. Well if he stays here I might be able to kill him then. I rooted him to scare him off, but somehow I scared him into Sting still, and then, okay, well, another easy kill, you, you know, you take the freebies, you see freebie, you take freebie, no more freebies, back to soaking, no more soak, then you can do some min uh, mercenary camps, there's no more soak right now, ah, they got him, back to soak. Alright chat, what do we do, top soak covered. That guy's not killable. Bottom soak, covered. Alright. Minions, covered. Other minion. You just keep looking for stuff to do, you know? You, just, you clear waves so fast. Nothing to do? Okay, this is the only thing we can do? Okay, we're doing it. Okay, minion wave, covered. On to the next. Oh, duh, they got that wave, covered. On to the next one. You can just throw your root at people to scare them away so they don't like hit you when you're clearing too. I'll just root people randomly like that just so they don't like try to kill me. I think this is an easy kill. Never mind. Well, we got Gust, I guess. I messed up my mages there. I needed a mage after he rolled, but I did it before, so I kind of messed it up. Whatever. Back to soaking. It's not an easy kill, but I'm just gonna root him anyways. <laughs> I think every- Oh, he's doing it for the unstoppable. I think that's what he's doing. He's like, look at me, I unstoppable the root. I'm so good at the game. Okay, but- But the thing is, you just wasted your lightning breath and there was no chance we were gonna kill you. You literally just wasted it. You could've just sat in the root for like two seconds and then it would've worn off. And you guys were 5v3, there was no chance you would die there. The guy was like sitting at 100% HP with a globe. These are the de decisions that diamonds make, okay? What is what is the difference? Why are diamonds different? These decisions. That is why a diamond is different. Why did he do that? I don't know. I bet he doesn't know either, but that's, that's why the diamonds are different. That's the diamond choice. It's a diamond way of life right now. We're losing this fight pretty bad, by the way. I don't know if we can outdo the dragon. 
Dragon's down. I'm going back in. Hey guys. You know what they could use, really use here? Lightning Breath. You know what happened to it? Yeah, they don't know either. Kill him before he gets one more! Haha, <laughs> 39! Now imagine if he still had Lightning Breath. You would have imagined that the AoE just would have accidentally got one more, right? And not to mention, he could have probably zoned us out if he Lightning Breath on the Shrine. He probably could, just that one random Lightning Breath that he decided to waste because Papega Diamond. Just that one random one could have saved them three kills and it could have been worth two Punishers. Because this is two Punishers. Not only did they not get one, they lost the Punisher, right? And we got one. So that's two Punishers worth of difference. Just because he Papega Ard for no reason right before the Shrine. That is the stuff Diamonds are made of. You want to know the difference? There you go. See, I don't comment on this stuff most of the time because I'm like so used to it. It's just like, gives me brain damage, but there you go. There's my explanation. So when you guys think I'm salty, you know, when you think, you're like, why is fan so salty? It's because I see this stuff all the time that you guys don't necessarily like recognize. I see this happening all the time, fan, every day. Early still for a request. No, it is not. You can request Heroes Agent No. Welcome to the stream. So it's just like, I'm just silently just taking note of all the Papega moves that are just papega every day, every game. Four diamonds on my team doing this stuff every game. So next time you're like, why is Fan so salty? Yeah, it's because I've been thinking, I've been watching them do this for like a good 10 hours every day. Celebration is in order. No joke, this is really informative. I don't think you realize just how much we don't know. Uh, I know you guys don't know. I know a lot of people don't wouldn't know this unless I point it out. It is pretty cynical if I keep pointing it out though. You think you think I'm getting closer to Mune by not talking about this stuff. Oh wow. Well, I'll get closer to Mune by talking about this stuff way faster. Choose a talent. They're all dead. It's like nothing to do with mages. I'm just gonna push for that. Anyways, so if you're doing the Zul thing right, usually you'll end up with like two, three level lead, right? You notice I bear I haven't even like seen heroes after that one shrine fight. So I'll come to the most important fights, but then like after that, I don't care, man. I was just I'm literally just wave playing minions, you know? I'm just looking for the minions all day. This looks like an easy kill again. Oh, never mind. I lied. I'm the easy kill this time, boys. Oh, the portal is a little too far. I was wondering where the portal was. Fudge, I didn't see it in time. That's my bad. Okay, well, we had a 4 level lead. Now we only have a 3 level lead. Still a big lead, though. That burst fire again. Is that the same junk rat? Oh, that's the same junk rat. This is a burst fire junk rat. Oh, nice. This, this is what separates diamonds, right there. Another example. This is it, boys. This is what separates diamonds. You know what these could have been? These could have all been like here, but instead they're there. Yeah. Activate the shrine. Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. So that's what death feels like. I miss it already. Eh, they don't even have four. I guess it's better if we just chill for now. I also don't think they're just gonna let us take it though. Are they? Maybe they are. Oh, let's see. I mean, we're gonna be 20. I guess they can't stop us, really. Uh, okay, anti heal. Anti heal is really good. I think 
Okay, he's dead. See, I mage. That time I maged after he eat, right? Which is what I was saying earlier. An instant death. This guy's feeding too. I don't even know. It's like, it's like he doesn't even. <laughs> I don't even. I don't know what to say, dude. It's like he's lightning breathing, but like every time he lightning breaths, it's like a suicide. He's like actually just self stunning himself for five seconds every time in the worst spot ever. Yeah. Well. All right then. MVP. Clap cheeks. I really just, I just, I just farm minions. You look at my hero damage. <laughs> Literally, see minion wave, kill minion wave. Only engage heroes if it's a crucial team fight, like on the shrine right there. Or if I see a really free kill, okay. <laughs> I just, I just literally, that's how you kill minions and win the game, dude. You play this shit in like plat gold. I feel like it's a free win if you just kill all the minion waves. It's so easy. People don't soak. It's so easy. I'm an, I'm in diamond master. It's still so easy half the time. You just, you literally you just kill all the minions you see and you like almost automatically win. Hold on. Top of diamond, okay? That Diablo, top diamond. Diamond one, that's about to be a master player. 